Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of JLD Reactions. Today, we're going to be watching The Vampire Diaries, Season 2, Episode 19, entitled Close. So, last week's episode was really good. Bonnie psyched everybody out and pretended like that she was dead. And Elena went nuts, understandably. And also, they, also they found out that the Larg's body has been taken over by Klaus. So, yeah, that's about it, huh? Okay, guys, let's get started. But before we do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Also, you can get the full reaction to this video and to other videos on Patreon. Let's get started. Forgive me, you remind me of someone. Katerina, may I introduce the Lord Elijah? Pleasure, my lord. Pleasure's mine. I can't, I can't, I can't be in this house. You don't put it in. Get me out of here. Where's Elena? I don't know, Stefan. She's your girlfriend. Why don't you right here? Oh, he has the shoulder. I have time for a bite. I'm don't you just so love how everybody hungry. knows that Damon has is keeping her as a sex pet, his sex slave, essentially. And everybody's just like, okay, it's Damon. What Damon wants, Damon gets. He's had a hard life, a hard backstory. <laughs> I don't hate Damon, guys. I love David. But how can I not point this out? How can I sit up there and just pretend like Damon isn't keeping sex slaves and stuff? Nancy, can you just use a blood bag today? Um, I'm only late from work. No. Oh. Hey, it's me. Where are you? Ooh, Call me. See? Where? I'm on my way. No, Stefan. Elijah and I need some time alone. Listen to me. Can't be trusted. He'll use you to get to Klaus. Elijah is a noble man, Stefan. He knows by code of honor I can trust him. He knows that I'd be incredibly stupid to betray him again. By removing the dagger, I have proven myself. You can't do this alone. It's my decision, Stefan. Please respect it. And make sure that Damon doesn't do anything stupid. I'll be in touch. What's going on? Where's Elena? I'm supposed to meet Rick at the grill for lunch to talk. Jenna, listen to me carefully. Whatever you do, do not meet a lark at the grill. I'm gonna come over right now and I'll explain everything. Oh, I'd love to lend you a hand, but you, know, you wouldn't want me to do anything stupid. <laughs> Seriously gonna be like this? You and your girlfriend call the shots. I'm just backing off, Stefan. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. And Katerina. She would have been released from my compulsion when I died. Klaus took her. We think that she may be dead. I doubt that. Not Klaus's style. Death would be too easy for her after what she did. I don't understand. You say that you want Klaus dead, but you still made Catherine pay for betraying him. I have my own reasons for wanting Katharina to pay. There was a time I'd have done anything for Klaus. Where have you come, Katarina? It's because Katarina is always screwing everybody over. But I like me some Katarina. Katarina. I need to tell my lord. Kat Katarina is from Bulgaria. Strafe, Katarina. 
very good. <laughs> She's so enchanted. Do you mind, brother? I would like to have a moment alone with her. No, no, no. Happy birthday, brother. Enchanté. Klaus is my brother. I heard that. I figured that. I'm, I'm still processing. Yes, I'm a little behind on the times, but I believe the term you're searching for is OMG. Dead. Unfortunately not. Hey, Jenna, thank you so much for not going to the grill. Uh, Stefan. No, listen, I can He's there. explain. Hi, Stefan. How's it going? Just sit. I've been saying this. Just sit Jenna down and explain everything to her. Because y'all are going to get her killed by not explaining things to her. Y'all are trying to protect her, but y'all are going to get her killed. Just tell her. There's a whole family of originals? Huh? Did he tell you to stay in this apartment until he said it was okay to leave? You can't say. Did he tell you to do absolutely everything he says until the end of time? No. There's your loophole. Drink this and it will prevent any further compulsion. What? Give it to me. Answer one question first. You double-crossed us with Isabel, why? I didn't think you could stand a chance against Klaus. I was looking at him myself. And where'd that get you? Here. Be careful with that. If you find out you have that, you're never getting out of here. <coughs> you owe me. I will collect. Okay, that, I don't understand that loophole at all. That's Vervain. Vervain. But see, I thought that Klaus could compel vampires even if they're on Vervain too. And then the loophole, I just didn't get that. That was confusing to me. He was like, he said that you could stay here for, all, for, for the rest of the time. And then she was like, no. Huh? That makes sense. Nice to meet you. No, I find chopping calming. Feel the blade in the hand, maybe. I'm still waiting for someone to tell me what the hell's going on. Well, would you like to tell her, Stefan, or should I? Tell me what? But why? The easiest way to discover the existence of a doppelganger or to get your hands on some long lost moonstone is to have every single member of two warring species on the lookout. So it's not Aztec at all. The curse of the sun and the moon is fake. I knew it. I knew it was fake. It doesn't exist. I knew it was fake. What? Oh, I know this all sounds so Okay, I'm going to have to pause it again, guys, because I'm pausing it a lot. Sorry. No, remember earlier before when they first said the Aztec curse and the sun and the moon and it was like it happened 600 years ago or something like that? And I'm like, I was like, that's it? That's kind of a lame origin story for vampires and werewolves. I was like, that's, I was like, that's lame. But as we can see, it wasn't real. It wasn't their real origin. And I didn't think it was. It just wasn't cool enough to me. And when I think of vampires, I think of beings that have existed for hundreds of thousands of years on this planet. Not just like a thousand years or so. Like ancient beings. Crazy, but... Vampires are real. Do you care for some more wine? Get out. 
Excuse me? I don't know what it is you're trying to do or why you're saying these things, but I... Jenna. I said, get out. Huh? You heard her? I'm afraid I don't want to. Fine, I'll go. You're not going anywhere. Stefan. Jenna, get out of here now. Oh, no, no, no. Get up, you my Stefan. Watch me. Stefan! I may not have a witch protecting me today, but if you kill this body, what's to stop me from choosing Jenna as my next one? Jenna, go. But you, you have to. I said go! Ooh, Jenna finally finds out. Two seasons in. Kill me. Just remind Elena how easy it will be for me to get my revenge if she tries to stop me from breaking this curse. <laughs> I never meant for any of this to happen. When I was little, your mom used to tell me bedtime stories. Stories about vampires. I never thought that what she said could be true. It is true, Jenna. I should have told you. Right. Why so grumpy? Well, this body has outlived its usefulness. Do you want a drink? Oh, Katarina, I don't want a drink. Come on. Might loosen you up. What I want is for you to sit down and shut up. Alex, right, what took you so long? You got a lot of luggage. Hmm? Where are they? Found um, more witches, I think. Right on. Finally. Hello, love. Hello. Nice body. You ready to get out of it? Tired of your little plaything, right? Don't start with me, Stefan. She's just my distraction. She's a person. You're victimizing her. You should be thankful she's here. Keeps me from going for what I really want. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. For being in love with my girlfriend. <laughs> and there it is. There it is. Please. You know, you can be in love with Elena all you want. If it means that you'll protect her. But I have the one thing that you never will. Oh, yeah? What's that? Her respect. <laughs> Where is this guy? Stop! I thought I told you to leave. You didn't compel me. I want to be here. Just let me be here. I'm upset. You know what happens when I'm upset. You have to leave. No. Oh, You need to know God. that somebody cares about you. If I he kills her. Oh, my God. like an abuser. Get out of here before I kill you. Just go. Go. No! Mm. I don't know. 
Okay, for real, I already know, like, I know what y'all are going to say, but y'all know what I'm going to say, that was fucked up, Damon, he shouldn't have done that, it's an abusive relationship, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and I'm, there's going to be people who are like, but you know, Damon had a hard life, so it's okay that he abuses his girlfriend, and, and Stefan did way worse, <laughs> I'm like, what does that have to do with him abusing and killing people now? What does that have to do with what Stefan did in the past? Oh, he looks so much better with short hair. Now that's more like it. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, that was a definitely a nice, solid episode. Definitely a nice, definitely a nice, solid eight for me. Good episode. Definitely a great episode. We covered a lot of the ground. I knew that the whole Amazon, not Amazon, but Aztec curse was a bunch of bull crap. I just knew it. I was like, that's kind of a lame origin story for werewolves and vampires. I was like, I hope that's not the origin story because that's lame. But I do love studying about Aztec culture. As you guys know, I live in Mexico City, but we're not going to go into that. Um, also, I'm glad that Jenna finally found out what's going on in the city, in the town. They should have just told her. I said that. They should have just told her. Everybody knows. Jeremy knows. Carolyn knows. Bonnie knows. Matt knows. Everybody knows. John Gilbert knows. Everybody knows. Alaric knows. Um, so I get why she was upset. I mean, I get why she was upset. Because if you're on her, if you're from her point of view, you'd be, you'd be like, what, do you guys think I'm so stupid or immature that I can handle it? Like, you know, I hate that shit. Anyway, uh, so the whole Elijah, Katharina story, I kind of didn't see that coming. Because it just seems like whenever Elijah would speak to Catherine before, he never seemed like he was in love with her at all. But maybe he was in love with human Kat Katrina. Katrina. Maybe he was in love with human Katrina and not Catherine the vampire. Because she turned, well, as we can see, Catherine's a complete bitch. Well, probably because Klaus killed her family, too, on top of it. So we see why she changed... Because Katarina, whatever, Katarina, she's actually just more like Elena. A little bit, like, softer in nature. Um, but pretty much, that's really it. That's all that happened. I'm glad that Alaric didn't die. I'm glad it didn't show us any more blood. Because remember when they were putting Klaus into Alaric's body, they had, like, those bowels of blood and stuff? I was like, Ugh, gross. But they didn't do they didn't have to do all types of blood and shit this time, so that's cool. And I figured they were just gonna put him back in his regular old body anyway, about two seconds before they showed him. So um, Okay guys, good solid episode, great. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.